Well, hello everyone. It's me, Garrett, and I am recording this uh, to warn you that what you are about to see uh, is not up to the audio quality snuff that I uh, am typically so very, very, uh, I don't know, annoyingly paying attention to the detail of. Uh, this is the live Anger Chicken that we managed to barely make happen at uh, Nertacular 2017. It came together uh, very last minute through the uh, the wonderful actions of, uh, of, of multiple individuals trying to find us equipment, find us a room, uh, et cetera, et cetera. So uh, sadly, I mean, there was uh, uh, probably about five minutes of, uh, of lead time that we knew this was definitely happening. Uh, and that's about as much time uh, as, uh, as uh, we had to figure out hardware. So, so sadly, um, it does not sound that great. Uh, it was a great time. Uh, we had uh, Terpster from Yogg's cast on. We had Justin Robert Young from uh, Diamond Club and Night Attack and Politics, Politics, Politics and many other fine shows on. Jocelyn was there. I was there. Uh, sadly, uh, as many of you know, Dills was not at Nertacular, so he was not there. But, uh, anyway, this, this was a lot of fun to do, and I want you to be able to see it. It's just, I feel the need to preface this with, this is not the quality of audio you are probably, uh, you're definitely used to on the Angry Chicken. Uh, so, uh, if, if you're listening to this and, and you just can't stand it, uh, just, just turn it off. Totally fine. I won't blame you. No one will blame you. But, uh, I promise it, a good time was had. Uh, and if you ever wanted to see four people rip on the Hearthstone shorts uh, known as Mulligans, this is your episode. All right, here it is. Yeah, no, totally. Are we good to go? We are recording. We are recording. Cool. Everyone ready? Because we yeah. are totally just winging this. <laughs> Let's roll. All right, we don't have intro music. We don't have bumpers. We don't have show notes. We don't have a plan. But we do have four people that are pretty into Hearthstone. I don't yeah. know. Uh, Terpster, I'm not sure how much you're playing it nowadays, but anyways. Uh, well, I don't know. Screw you too, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, 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 uh, Ask me a question uh, that only a current player would know. Mm. Five. You need five of the same minion now. What's that about? All right, oh, yes. It, it wasn't that dominant. This is the most perfect way to start the uh, most impromptu live recording of the Angry Chicken from so Nerdtacular. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I guess. No, this is where everybody, you have to do the thing. Welcome to Nerdtacular and the Angry Chicken. Yeah. For how few people are here, that sounded really awesome. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's yeah. like anyway, 300. It's fine. So, uh, so, so Dill sadly could not make it. So filling out the live crew is, uh, as always, Jocelyn Moffat. Hi, guys. And, and guesting is Mark the Turpin Turpster. The Turpin? The Turpin Turpster? Yeah. I have a lot of names. Yeah. And, he's the catch uh, of the day. And Justin Robert Young. Hey, at least he's not I'm Tripe. Just, which I'm is just Tripe. That's what I mean. Uh, yeah, that's it. Mark yeah. the Tripe Turp Turpster. <laughs> Mark Sorry, the Tripe. Goofy. Yeah, no, it takes me and Turbster to fill in for Dills. Yeah. Uh, it it's a two-man two job. He's a twofer. He's a he's the old two-gapper. Yeah, pr pretty pretty much. I'm just gonna sit back and get comfortable so I can look at you. Oh, that's good. Yeah, yeah. this is this is intimate. Yeah, but no, seriously, we haven't had a chance to talk about the damn uh, Quest Rogue nerf. Uh, yeah. We're on the table, starting with Turbster. What do you what do you think about uh, Quest Rogue going up to five minutes? Um, yeah, it was needed, wasn't it? Let's be honest now. No, I mean, oh, definitely. No, no, was it? No. Yeah, it was. No. It was. It's no. the, the, It's not. It's it's nope. it's not a fun deck to play against. I don't think. Oh. You, know, you play a control game against it, and it's you know it's done. You know it's it needs to have the right cards in hand. We've got a new expansion coming up that's probably gonna, uh, well, potentially is gonna make bouncing it a bit easier. That, that is the point where because I because it's it's left so late. They're, they're nerfing this. Yeah. You know, they're announcing the expansion in, mm -hmm. what, six days? Yep. Five days. Thursday, yeah. Thursday July and 6th. And so, you know, why wait now? You know, in typical Blizzard fashion, yeah. it's just, it's because they're going to release more cards that just make that ridiculous. Make that, that even uh, worse. Uh, yeah. That's what I'm on board with. As, as Hearthstone stands now, I'm not on board with it, but I, I'm fairly certain there are cards but, I mean, coming. When you look at all the quests, I don't feel like any of the quests, you know, I don't feel like all the quests are good. Uh, I think, none. I think, exactly. Now none of, yeah. well, one, sorry, one yeah. quest is now good. And that's the thing, so I, I don't feel like it's that much of a change. Yeah. Really. I don't feel many people yeah. were playing this in the top end. It was more of a sort of a fun, sort of early ladder, mid ladder sort of deck, and it quickly kind of ran out of steam because it is very easily countered if you play it wrong. Um, or, you know, you don't have the speed if you play it, if you haven't got the cards. It's, yeah, it's very, a, yeah. very dependent on what you draw. I think that's probably the biggest thing, is that it's not 
a, there's not a lot of subtlety to it. Like either they got it or they don't and you win or you lose. And then there was more decks that could counter it. But it wasn't like, oh, I wonder if this is a, a variation on this, <laughs> on this quest road deck. Like it, it, it kind of solidified fairly quickly and just was what it was until it is now. Well, I mean, I mean if, you're, if your defense is, oh, there's no variation, I mean, none of the current archetypes really have a lot of variation. No. And, and I think you're being too easy. I think Quest Rogue is actually one of the hardest decks to play correctly. Because when you don't draw perfectly, there are some very difficult decisions to make. Yes. Yeah, I'm not saying that it's brainless, per se. Uh, it, it just <laughs> seems like because nothing is. Even, even, you know, like aggro uh, decks that people say are just, you know, turn the key. And well, play. that's kind of the point is, is the, the common belief is that aggro is very easy to play, and it is not. And the no. same goes for Quest Rogue. Sure. But I, I don't, I feel like I've seen, yes, there's not a ton of variations because everything is sort of solidified at this point with the new expansion coming. But I do feel like there, I've seen a little, uh, you know, five degrees to the right, five degrees to the left on other popular decks. I've seen on Quest Rogue, too. Some one run Eviscerate and Backstab, some do not. Well, why don't you marry it, Karen? Like, <laughs> yeah. is, like I like Swashburglar. I think he should be in there still, you know? <laughs> I'm just saying. All right, all right, Jocelyn, yeah, somebody who actually Jocelyn? knows what they're talking about, get on the oh, microphone. Burn. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. No, I think the, uh, the whole, like, how it kind of got rid of the control archetype and made that really difficult to play, I think that's a valid reason for making a change. Um, I thought it was really interesting that they, the explanation they gave was almost like we're playing into people's perceptions of the deck as opposed to the way it actually played because they said like lots and lots of people are playing this even though the win rate isn't all that great so we're going to make the deck a little bit worse which would make the win rate even worse and that seems kind of odd so it's not like it has a super high win rate that they're trying to counteract it's just perception so now I feel like Bouncing five times, I don't think that's that much of a change, especially with the whole elemental package. Like, there's so many ways to get those little flame elementals that five yeah. doesn't actually seem like a really big nerf. But there's the perception that it's now unplayable, so I think that's going to change the number of people that we see playing the deck as opposed to, like, it actually being a worse deck now. I yeah, think, uh, I, I, I disagree, though, because I think it's one of those decks that if you are not they're playing the quest on hopefully turn five, you know, the actual uh, crystal yeah. core. You very rarely win that. Right. That, 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 you know, and you want to prep into it, maybe have a couple of charges as well, so then you're hitting, you know, hopefully doing whatever's left. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I think this extra card just kills it completely because it puts you a turn behind at best. And, yeah, I just think it's just... Well, be even, even if it's not all that different, it will be worse, right? And if it's already not great then it's going to be bad. And I do wish that, that there was a little bit more transparency from Blizzard in terms of like, no, listen, we're going to do a lot of stuff that we want to do that we think is cool, that benefits... It frees uh, up all the, the other... design space. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> it just, you know, it, 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 if we come out with what we're going to... Because uh, we all suspect that this is tied to the new release. Yeah. Right? Well, well, uh, yes, but I don't know. That, that's where I'm... I'm I think it's odd timing to do it otherwise. I don't feel like there's a particular outcry yeah. now. There was about a month or two ago. Or say it. Say this has nothing to do. Timing. Well, you, no, should also, wait, you should also see our inbox, T. Yeah. yeah it's, it's, it's still, still a, lot of, a lot of Quest really? Row complaining. Yeah. yeah. Where? I, I don't know. In our inbox and on our <laughs> Twitter account. Yeah. I, I, yeah. So, no, I, 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 that's, like, I disagree with it. Like I said, now in the bubble of as Hearthstone exists, but I, I do think it's probably for cards coming on the line, but we'll have to see. Because we say that about, uh, uh, what was it, Bladestorm? Uh, the rogue card. Blade, Blade, Blade Fury. Fury, yeah. Yeah, Blade Fury. We're like, oh man, there's going to be some sweet awesome rogue, rogue weapons. weapons. <laughs> we still <laughs> don't have awesome rogue weapons. Yeah. They, we still have complete shite for rogue <laughs> weapons. So um, we'll have to see. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. I think it's just, uh, I don't disagree with you, Justin, that people will still be able to complete the quest. And that's what I've been, like, at, when I w went on Twitter and I was like, this is the first nerf since Warzone Commander I don't agree with. Like, 75% of the pushback I got was like, you're still going to be able to complete it. And I'm like, you can complete the Warlock quest. It doesn't mean you should. In fact, it's one of the worst <laughs> ideas yeah. you should have in Hearthstone. If you're completing it, like, Think about your life. Like, just like, yeah. take a good evaluation. Yeah. You can complete all quests right now, and after this change, only one of them is actually competitively you can viable. Drive with your feet doesn't mean it's to be done. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. So, <laughs> no, this is interesting around the, around the table, though, because we're all kind of. Well, yeah, I mean, I, I don't know. I, 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 
I certainly uh, uh, got my, my fill of, of Quest Rogue when it was hot initially, and then it kind of became a little boring, and there was other cool stuff to do. But I think that that is something that's interesting with the Quest in general, because I forget which one of you guys brought it up, but like now they're all kind of booty. <laughs> and it's like, they were, like, th there was at least, everybody gave something a shot initially. Some of them hung around later than others. Oh, out, out the gate, it was the thing we were all the most excited about. Everybody was super bummed about it. But, like, let me ask you this question. Does that mean that they were ineffective, or did they live the perfect lifespan? Like, it was, like, really uh, cool initially, and now it's sort of dying down as we're going to get new stuff. Like, I, it's kind of perfect. Well, uh, it, but they died, the, the majority of them died off extremely quick. I, I would have liked a little bit of a longer leg on the quest, but how do, how do you deal with that? If something is truly not competitively yeah. viable, that will quickly get sussed out by the community. Yes. So. I mean, what? Like, the ones that remained viable for the longest were, like... Uh, Taunt Warrior. Taunt Warrior, which yeah, is Taunt Warrior. the only good quest now. And then initially I saw that mage one. Yeah. Like people, people worked yeah, really hard there, to try there to make are that some, OTK deck work. There, there's some decent yeah. mage archetypes, it, but it there's... can, it can. But I mean, Exodia Mage is just so much better. Yeah, and that's I think that's the beauty of um, the quests. I think serve the purpose of helping new players instantly. They unpack a card, and I think with the new changes to legendaries, um, if that had been in this last expansion, so you were guaranteed to get a legendary in the first ten packs. Yeah, and. Most of the legendaries are quests. You know, I think that could have been great for new players coming in, instantly getting a card that basically says, you should go and build this thing now. Yeah. Um, and it was, it was, you know, they were great in that way, but, yeah, the, the, the game is, is bigger than that anyway. And so. I guess you, you probably still see them in some of the higher levels, right? Like, if, if, if it is for new players, then it is something that you can work on. And as you get good at it, you realize that you are winning more because you are closer to understanding, this is a deck that I should play. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so thank that Todd uh, next to me wanted me to retweet something, and that threw me off my line of thought entirely. <laughs> well, I got oh, it. Was, well, it's it's, it's <laughs> definitely a long Old Ben Spot Young. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay, so I think that's a good place to stop. For, so, so quests are, uh, are Jocelyn, are we are we chalking quests up to inspire? Yeah, it's I not think inspire. So. I, think I think it's, it's inspire. Oh, there were so? more inspire cards were playable than quest cards. But that's not fair. But that was a mechanic. I mean, no, adapt is this is this uh, expansions thing. So, no, no, no. Well, but inspire no, was no, bad. No, no, but no, that yeah. is good. Inspire was bad. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. It's like you know, or no, if maybe inspired not inspired had a if joust. Inspired had Sorry, joust. Joust. Yeah, 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 joust. Yeah, 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 oh yeah, yeah. obviously. Um, but I think if joust, joust had another thing, joust. Oh, depressing. Yeah. Um, so and I, and there's like maybe one joust minion. So yeah, maybe quests are joust. But I think if they seen because obviously we like discover and adapt gives us discover again in yeah. a different context. Yeah, within a very um, yeah, like different context. Curated pool exactly. of cards. Um, and I think that's really good. I think quests, I, I hope we see more of them. I do. I hope I that there's more. I don't think we will for a while, but I think there's still space for there to be some cool stuff because it basically says, look, if you can pull off this cool combo, you're going to have some crazy fun. And it doesn't necessarily mean you're going to win the game. But I think, again, having a few cards in there that are like, you know what, you can do some crazy stuff now. Yeah, I, I'm with I'm with Terpster here, yeah. by the way. Like, I, I I think quests are pretty much a failure. Who's, I don't um, think they who's played great. Dream Quest? Actually, it's a, like it's an iPad. It's on Steam as well. But Peter Whalen, who's who's the lead designer on uh, Journey to Ngoro, he made Dream Quest. Oh, right. And it's a fantastic game. It's got the worst art in the history of the world. <laughs> it literally looks like a four-year-old did it on paint. Um, <laughs> it's terrible. But the game itself is amazing. It's like a little roguelike uh, kind of dungeon crawler type thing. Um, but it's all bit with cards. And it's got some great combos. And the way you build decks and you throw away cards and try and thin it out and get your deck perfect um, is, is kind of a lot of what we try and do in Hearthstone, really, when we're, we're trying to draw the right hand. We want to get our win condition. Um, and he, he, like I said, was obviously, you know, they're a team, it's lots of voices and all that, but he was the kind of the front face of Angora, and I, I think he did really well with it. Oh, I think and he did too, think, yeah. You know, I mean, we're, we're laser focused on Quest right here, but the, the, the truth is, is that Angora was a, a major success, and it didn't matter about Quests. There are so many archetypes for so many yeah. classes. Multiple classes have three, sometimes four archetypes that are competitively viable, and it doesn't matter that Quests didn't pan out the way we thought yeah, they would. it felt the most varied meta that I've experienced in a long time, you know, and the fact that, you know, Jade and Pirate 
isn't really a thing as much. Oh, oh, uh, well, uh, well, with well, press gone, <laughs> yeah. all you're going to yeah. see That's is That's right now, exactly, yeah. <laughs> Get ready for Jay Drew. Be careful what you wish for, guys. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, overall, no, I'm, I'm, I'm with you. I would like to see more quests because, like, if it didn't pan out, I still like the concept, whereas Joust, it didn't pan out, and I still hate the concept. Well, and that's the thing, is, is ultimately it's, it's discover and adapt, right? Like, we might not see quests again, but I like the idea of each class getting some little thing that they can build off, yeah. right? Even yeah. if it's not the exact same thing. Okay, so uh, we've got uh, two uh, very funny gentlemen on here. So let's, let's get off the rails a little bit. It's, yeah, okay. it's, it's, I think we're, it's too much balance, Doc. Too much, ha yeah. Has everyone here seen the new ridiculous Hearthstone commercials that they've been putting out on oh, YouTube? Oh, my God. Don't get me started. It's, it's, it's tough. Don't it's get me started. <laughs> oh, I'm baiting hard. <laughs> Uh, Uther likes that joke. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta slap it. Oh yes, well met. <laughs> I have so many questions. <laughs> so who's not playing Hearthstone? Who watches that and says, "Yes, that's that's for me. it for me." Uh, they got me. That's the one. Uh, in the audience, did, was anyone here not playing Hearthstone? And someone in those commercials and is now playing it. Anyone? No? 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 I mean, okay. it might be the wrong audience as well. We've we literally been audience. talking about this now for two minutes. Can anybody remember the name Mulligans, right? Mulligans. Mulligans, Mulligans right? yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> it should so, be called Hearthstone. Let's start, let's start here. Was this internal, or did they hire somebody that pitched them on, <laughs> on doing this, do you think? I think it's an agency, but obviously there was stuff shot on the Blizzard campus. On the campus. Which and that's may, the thing, which, which then makes it feel a little bit more internal. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Which also apes the... Uh, Sports Center commercials, which uh, were, were famous. I don't know if you guys got them out there no, in, no. in yeah, England. No, no. <laughs> but basically, uh, so ESPN did these commercials for, for Sports Center, their like highlight package show, where the conceit was in this boring cubicle office farm, every athlete and uh, mascot and everything was always just wandering around making copies. Like they were also working in the ESPN campus. So initially, you see that and you see a guy in an office making copies and you think, oh, this is cool. They're doing their own takeoff on that. And it, at Blizzard, the physical place, are these colorful, crazy characters and they get into funny, like usually like one pun sort of hijinks yeah. where that's it. Quick, 30 seconds, you're out. <laughs> We're done, right? No. Nope. Not, not Ten these, minutes later. These Stanley <laughs> Kubrick length <laughs> odysseys. <laughs> That have no. All right, is he playing Hearthstone? Because he never. I don't know if he's having a stroke as well. <laughs> the thing is, is 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 Gul'dan. The the prosthetics are so bad. <laughs> but I don't know. Like, is that a guy? And he's like, he just dresses up like oh, Gul'dan. Oh, I'm grumpy. Oh, yeah. You know, like, it makes no sense. Well, they, I mean, all of the cosplay in it is just straight yeah. up awful. It was Uther's yeah. beard and wig. You know, like, he yeah. has to say his name so much so you know who he is. Oh, you know. Oh, 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 Uther thinks that's funny. Oh, oh. Nobody right, else no. in that talks right. in the third no, person. No, exactly. Only, and then also, only apparently Uther. By the end of it, you're kind of led to believe that for whatever reason, he has unlocked these characters from the realm of Hearthstone, yeah, and yeah. now he takes care of them, like, <laughs> like, like, uh, uh, the, 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 like the one like the page master? The two punks. <laughs> like, he's just, he's there, like, uh, uh, John, right? The John. <laughs> he's John from the chipmunks. He's just there, and they're, yeah. like, running around, yeah. and they don't know what shotgun is, and they're at the art gallery. Like, that right there sounds like a better pitch than what we got. <laughs> I want some dude, like, comes home, like, steps on a Lego and just yells, Uther! <laughs> well, because also it's like, Whoops, they would misplay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's it's like, oh. That would have been better. That's yeah, funnier. Well. 15 seconds and done. Yeah, yeah. Well, because also you kind of suspect that initially the idea is he's playing Hearthstone at work. Yeah. And now the, the comical element is him getting horrible advice from these Hearthstone characters because, but even then, what kind of message is that to sell the game? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, so, uh, you will be closer if to getting gonna fired it, exactly. if you play Hearthstone. <laughs> I mean, have they done an episode where he's just on the can the whole time? Because <laughs> that, that, uh, yes, that's, that's Hearthstone. Yeah, I'm sorry, guys. Yeah, so if you play me, I'm taking yeah. a poop. And, okay. And, and, that's and, what's and, and Uther's yeah, picking yeah. up yeah. over. Well, man. Oh. Well, that was a tricky challenge, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> you need more card draw. <laughs> Fiber, I don't know which one of them. I don't know, whatever. Yeah. And then also, Dad's why had is, a pee. Why, yeah. is, why is Jane a normal? No, I don't know. Like, why, is there any reason no. why, like, she's you a, know, the other two are just these wild cartoon characters yeah. and she's Daria? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> All right, well, hold on, hold on, because because Jocelyn, get in here, Lord Nut, because that is post Theramore Jaina, and post Theramore Jaina, when she's not basically wanting to commit genocide against the orcs, is Daria. That's true. She is real depressed, like, all the time. She's either yeah. super depressed or, like, really pissed off. Just generally not fun to be around. And that they, so they nailed it. They so, all right, so then is it for... Who are these for? <laughs> well, that's the thing, because they don't ever show the freaking game. It just comes up at the end. First oh, yeah, well, that, was like, that would be the thing, though. Someone said, well, we won't show the game. No, 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 no. no. We have to scare off non-gamers. <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're going to get, we're going to, we're going to lure them in with fantastic comedy. Yeah. And high production Top values. <laughs> and, uh, need I say any more? Thank you, Blizzard. I'll, I'll fill the check out myself. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, so wait, were these so, videos anywhere other than YouTube? The, so they, they were uploaded I, to YouTube and they were on the, the launch screen. Yeah, did anyone see them on TV? I don't know about America. I, stuff, never, I, I, can't, I, I, I have not I seen them on TV. I heard. Oh, they what? 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 I, said, I think they also, they show up. <laughs> that's okay, yeah, it's that, also on mobile games, I think. Like other mobile games that run commercials. The really? Hearthstone commercials okay, yeah. so. Uh, Mulligans. Gentlemen, Mulligans. Gentlemen in the audience, for the audio crowd back home who can't hear the crowd, uh, said that apparently the Mulligan shorts are uh, airing uh, during Adult Swim programming, which actually, if there was any block I would schedule these weird ass shorts on, it would be Adult Swim. Yeah, no. You so, have never mind. I so figured it out. It's <laughs> like, they made like, these for stoners. It's like the quality of Robot Chicken now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah. It's like oh. you have to be so high that yeah. like you don't have a pulse. Yeah, <laughs> I like to that. find these humorous. We we did um we did a video for Magic the Gathering uh, yeah. at Yogs and I th I'm really proud of it. It's really good. Um, and we did it without showing the game at all because how do you make Magic the Gathering sexy and fun? You don't. No. So we had it in terms of a gang fight basically uh, with a, one of our guys as a small child. Uh, challenging the gang, and they were, you know, playing cards and stuff. It's got a, a cheesy 80 montage in there. It's, <laughs> it's, it's still got the Shutterstock logo on the backdrop. Uh, so it, I, I'm, I think it's great, and I think that's an example, albeit, you know, obviously very biased. Or but yeah. I think that's one where, you know, if you actually have people who play the games and understand them doing it, you can actually make some really funny so, so, stuff. So is, is that why you think this has to be an agency? Oh, yeah, eternal. definitely, yeah. No, because I think, they obviously don't I think, have any I think idea what eternally, exactly. And there'll be someone saying, again, it's not for you. You play the game. Yeah. You know, we, you know we've done a focus group, okay? <laughs> now we've got it, and we're looking at women, okay? They're 30 to 45. They get scared as soon as you show the game. <laughs> okay, so we're going to make it fun. We've got this cute guy. You know, it just, I don't know. It, for me, it just screams... You know, I, don't, I mean, it's, it's, yeah, but exactly. It's sensible in, but, in many but ways. It, but it was so loaded with, like, inside references that weren't but that's really again, all but that that's funny. But that's to try to make it seem authentic, so I think. There, exactly. So that's, that's, that, I think that's you that's make little it sprinkle. In. Exactly. They put that little salt bay exactly. of, uh, <laughs> But the thing is, you, you got to, at this point, you know, Hearthstone's however many years in, if you're not playing Hearthstone already, you know, what have you been doing, really? It's, it's, so what audiences, what markets uh, are they I going mean, for? Uh, I would make the argument that you could probably say... Hey, the most addictive, successful mobile game uh, that isn't, you know, whatever you know, the, the big one. 70 million you don't players. Have to match like, four. Yeah, yeah, 70 million yeah. players. Unless it was old Crest Rogue yeah. in that case. Yeah. Yeah. You literally have uh, Uther come in and be like, oh, Stan, I see you're playing Hearthstone. I heard they have 70 million players. Yeah. I mean, you I don't should know. try the Paladin class. <laughs> He's my <Yes>. favorite. <laughs> Done. I, I guess, is it, is it Hearthstone specifically with Blizzard that has to have everything be the joke? Because have, have they done a serious commercial? Well, they had those, like, they had the really cool, like, Anoyatron medieval... Oh, yeah, the live-action yeah. battles. The live-action battles, And they yeah. were still funny, but they were also rad. Yeah. yeah. I, I really want them to now do a super serious, gritty, sort of, <laughs> six people <laughs> died last well, year no, playing... No, no. <laughs> this game is so addictive, you're going to get divorced. <laughs> If you're not married yet, you're gonna get married first and then get divorced. Wow! Hearthstone, 70 million players. We've never, I can't even count that high. Dun 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 dun
She dusted my collection. I can't believe it. I mean, but also, like, it doesn't have to be, like, deadly grayscale serious, right? No. It can just be like, hey, here's a fun game. <laughs> As opposed to, like, anyway, let's do these, like, really long but sports parodies. I, I feel bad because, honestly, when we watched it, I just thought, oh, it's America. It must be an American thing. They must love it. You know, because oh, I just, I, exactly, I'm glad. I thought it was just like, man, it must be, you know, it's an American advert. Jo yeah. Joss wound up calling in the first, the week that the first one came out. I was doing my Friday hype train stream where I play Hearthstone and it was, it was I think it was a solid I was like I was getting off I was like I was like signing off oh, and I was like, me that. Oh. Back up, back up. Bob, you had the camera on me my hands just moved that fast uh, it's like a hummingbird uh, <laughs> only the nectar comes out <laughs> uh, we call that a hummerbird <laughs> How is it that when Dills leaves, the show gets like less classy? <laughs> uh, but I, I, I was about, I was about to sign off, right? And all of a sudden, Josh comes on, and we start talking about this Mulligan thing. An hour, a solid extra hour of just discussing the first episode. Like frame by of Mulligan. frame, we just like. Well, no, because initially, <laughs> like, we tried to figure out, like, okay, because they does they do set up, and believe you me, I have Zapruder <laughs> this this thing. They set up that he is alone mm. in the copy room, and it is only when he becomes frustrated do his imaginary pals show up who are not there when other people come in. But they make no like, a thing to be like, he's not like putting his phone in his pocket or anything. He, they're just, he's having a stroke. Like he's, <laughs> I think that's it. I think that's gonna be the last, last one. It's just him fitting on the floor. <laughs> 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 And who's first to like his friend, you'll see him, but without the beard. He'd be like, Jim, Jim, wake up. Oh my God. Oh my God. So, <laughs> all right, 70 million players. Yeah. <laughs> I smell toast. <laughs> I like to imagine that it's all. I smell disguised toast. <laughs> he's, just, he's just in a coma. <laughs> And it's just, it's just the three actors. Dan's the, act, yeah. the doctor saying, yeah, but he's funny. not going to pull through. <laughs> oh, you think, oh, no, there's still, there's still a character. I was thinking that you go full Wizard of Oz. Yeah, no, and, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. and they're all in plain clothes. And it's like, yeah. and you were unfunny, and you were unfunny. <laughs> <laughs> you were purposely You knew unfunny? nothing about the game? Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Well, uh, the, but the, so, the sad thing is, I'm sure they'll be silent Blizzard because they watch your show, and they'll be like, <laughs> the numbers show it worked. <laughs> you know, we had, we had, you know, 80% increased sign up. Oh, know? sure. Yeah. Yeah. This is what I'm going to uh, say is uh, I think the agency that made this uh, are going to, at the next meeting with Blizzard, look, your number one Hearthstone podcast spent 20 minutes breaking <laughs> this down. <laughs> Well, it's true, and I mean, I have seen so many positive comments. We've gotten emails asking why we haven't talked about this yet because they're great. The even okay, guys, even Wait, for real, yeah, even the YouTube comments are positive. I what? don't know what's happening. Wait a minute, hold on. I didn't know that this are was. Are we an idiot? I am. <laughs> I'm. I'm you never. You just don't get it, man. <laughs> I'm never putting effort into anything I create ever again. <laughs> Although I, uh, I'm, I'm going the other way. I do think it's internal. If I were to bet, I would say it's internal because it's all shot there. All the money that's spent. I mean, what's the what's the copy machine into? It doesn't look like anywhere I've seen in there. The oh, car park definitely was. I would assume. That's the thing. Yeah. I feel like they had some soundstage stuff, and then they did some oh, okay. kind of. The, I refuse you know. to believe that the company that gave us that many awesome songs to introduce adventures and expansions made that. <laughs> uh, I mean, literally, Ben Brode rapped and he wrote it in like half a day. And no, you're right. That no, was that better. Back off. And, you know, it's I'm just back like off. you know, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's a good You're point. Right. It's a good yeah, it's it's internal. It would have been shot and broad. That so is where they absolutely. announced the last like big update. Like, yeah. hey, legendary. Hey, everyone, it's me, Ben Brood. I'm at home. I'm accessible. I'm one of you. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's really good. Anyway, of course I'm going to say that. Yeah. Okay, uh, no, you're right. Yeah, because uh, I guess that's the thing, is, is that is the one thing about Heart Center. Probably the reason why they always wind up doing funny commercials is that the game is funny and, like, and the humor does land. So you're right, this did not. Although apparently it did. Apparently for an entire <laughs> generation uh, loves... I'd say the podcasts. new number one Hearthstone podcast <laughs> is going to be aimed at a very different audience. Yeah, clearly. So. Yeah, you, need to, you need to start putting in some awkward, not funny humor in there. Uh, well, I mean, I'm on yeah. the show, so it's already there. There you go. Yeah. So maybe you'll survive then. Maybe. Yeah. In the new future of Hearthstone. <laughs> oh, I think that was great. Oh, you're lovely. <laughs> It's like he did it Watch as a joke on. in I'm the audition, and they're like, yeah. 
Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, so yeah, no, Mulligans is uh, an obsession. I guess I love it. I mean, I, I, <laughs> I, I don't know. Like, I mean, I've spent so much time talking about it and thinking about it. Like that. I, Listen, this thing is the biggest pile. There are movies that I have left and I have liked that I have recommended to friends that I've spent less time thinking about than Mulligans. <laughs> so it is. It is uh, on its own level, like richly engrossing. All right. Fair. <laughs> Oh my! Well, I mean, that would be the other thing is, yeah, Batman vs Superman. I did like it is a objectively terrible movie, but uh, I love. There's no scene I've ever gotten more joy out of than the Martha scene. <laughs> <laughs> it's the what, greatest my, thing. My mom. Yeah. What are you, what are you, what are you, it's the reason. Why? When did Batman become you, evil? I was gonna kill you, but my mom. What you want me to say? What my mom. She, what? No. What did you say? <laughs> And then they can't even solve it between not, the two characters. <laughs> Lois has to come in yeah. and be like, oh, what he's trying to say is his mom's name yeah. Martha. <laughs> really? But that's my mom's name. Oh, sh- <laughs> Do we just become best friends? And it's the, it's the scene from Step Brothers. Yeah. Step Brothers did that scene better. That's yeah. kind of what I'm trying to say. And then Zack Snyder's uh. like, well, I already wrote the best movie ever. Let's, uh, <laughs> let's go ahead and ruin it. Did everyone Doomsday. notice that yeah. they had the same mother's name? <laughs> <laughs> But I've made that a key point in this Mic film. Drop. <laughs> uh, so we have a live audience. Does anyone have any uh, burning topics, questions about Hearthstone that they would like to come, come up, up and come uh, join up. the conversation? Yeah, I'll be the, uh, I'll be the, yeah ju- I'll be Justin the has the only uh, hand mic, so we're going to make uh, it What's your name, official. sir? Uh, Esconde. And uh, my question is, you guys are talking about how there's only one slash two quests that are playable. Which non-popular quest in the next expansion would you like to see come back and make a prominent appearance? Oh, Warlock Quest. I was so excited about the damn Warlock Quest. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. That's the worst. No, Barnabas Druid. You need to have just big, big, Actually, big giant. Barnabas. Hunter, I'm in Barnabas. Hunter would be rad because the, the, so Taunt is the only quest that's really like, no one can argue, just works now. And it's all about just slowing everything down and big health minions. I would like the opposite, which is the Hunter Quest. Uh, to be to be it. I, personally, I still go with Warlock because that was the one I was the most excited for on paper when they announced them. See, I think the Hunter Quest, if I was to design one, it would be that all your minions ignore taunts so you just can go face. Like, that would be a cool like quest that. because that's what hunters are about. You just go face. And that's, you know, they shouldn't, and it should be called Smork. And that should be it. <laughs> and that's oh, it. Yeah. yeah, just, just steal it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Bam. Just, just Bam. meme Bam. it up. Don't even try and just embrace no. what the that's what quest should be. Quest should be that. You know, there should be like Epic Sax Guy, where, <laughs> you know, play the same card eight times or something like that. The music starts playing. That's yeah. all I want. That's all I want. I don't need to win the game. I just wanted to be cool. You just want to trigger him as a really sexy saxophone yeah, solo. Exactly. Why not? Oh, yeah, why not? All right. Well, who doesn't? Uh, sir, what's your name? Uh, Eamon. Eamon. Uh, Sorry. And what's your, uh, what's your question? Um, if the Lich King is around the corner, is now the time for a new class? Uh, all right. So, I mean, it, that's, that's a double-edged question. Do I want a new class? Yes. Is it the time? I think it's always the time for a new class. Do I think we're ever going to get one? No. No. No, there's, I mean, the thing is, so Keebler, obviously, um, he did the uh, design for the WoW TCG. And when they introduced... Uh, Do you call him Keebler, well. like the elf? Yeah, he totally yeah. did. I was yeah. going to let it go. Okay. Keebler, uh, I don't know. Yeah, no, right. Ke- Keeblers live yeah. in trees and make cookies. I, I don't know! <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, Brian... Um, <laughs> oh, you're on a first name yeah, basis. Yeah, yeah, I am. I am. Okay. Um, but, so he, he, he speaks about, you know, obviously, when they made the Death Knight in the WoW TCG... Um, it was very quickly became the warrior. And, you know, it's very similar. You know, it's very hard to keep them separate. And, again, anything you add in is basically saying, okay, well, we were going to give this to a warlock, and we were going to give this to a warrior, and we were going to give this to a shaman, but we're going to now take it away and put it in this other place over here. I, I don't think it would make the game more diverse. I think potentially it makes Blizzard more money, so probably. Yeah. Um, but I, I don't think the game needs it. Or we'll see it, but who knows? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, it, it, Warlo- like when I think of a Death Knight, I think of a Warlock Warrior, because that's the kind of the two main things they smoosh together to make a new class. And they haven't really messed with dots or like damage over time in Hearthstone yet, so maybe there's something there. I don't know if it works, if it just breaks the game. But they did have that like curse mechanic where like you gave your opponent the curse. And the curse of Rathom. Yeah. 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 But that was the only thing they've really done. Yeah. It's like a damage over time if it, you don't deal with it. And that is still to this day, I think, one of the coolest cards they've put into the game. It just it went nowhere. Yeah, true. 
I think we'd probably be a lot more likely to see something that's like a card you play to alter your hero to make it a death knight as opposed to putting yeah. an entire new class I, I in the game. I would love to see Arthas be a paladin legendary that like when he dies or something, it just warps your I'll, hero. I'll tell you what, that might be if we're talking about things that aren't a quest but could do quest-like things, like every class getting something that mm. warps them into something else uh, could be an interesting... That oh, would yeah. be so cool. Who would become uh, demon hunters? And don't say hunters, because there's, no, there's literally nothing between them. <laughs> um, druids? We're getting some druids. Mm. I'd say rogue, yeah. Rogue in terms of gameplay. But rogue yeah, gameplay, yeah. druid in terms of lore. I get behind mm. that. Yeah. Got another question. Sir, what's your name? Yeah, I'm Logan. Uh, so... We're getting a lot faster in terms of nerfs. I mean, I played Undertaker forever before they nerfed that <laughs> You're card. You're sick, man. I know. <laughs> uh, Undertaker Priest, right? You can not get so. mad at people for playing what works. <laughs> um, so we saw faster nerfs with the small-time Buccaneer. Uh, I think this quest rogue is actually the fastest I've seen them nerf a card from release. Um, it would have been awesome to see Yaw get nerfed much sooner than it was. <laughs> I'd like to see uh, Yaw get nerfed again. Do, do you think we're getting to a point with balance and with the new set rotation where they're less likely to let cards stagnate before nerfing them? Uh, I mean, it's, this is almost a preemptive nerf, right? I mean, I think the other nerfs were preemptive in a way. Um, I mean, they they said that they, they, I think on like things cards like Blade Flare, they said they were it, it limited the design space, uh, and they brought it up again here for the Quest Rogue. So I think it's it's always been a, a concern before, but I, I wouldn't say that this was that fast of of a nerf because I mean everyone at the table I think except Joss and I were like oh no one's talking about Quest Rogue anymore why'd they nerf it now I think if they were doing a, a quick nerf on Quest Rogue it would have happened a month or two ago. Yeah, but there's also, there should be a waiting period, right? Like, oh, I agree. Well, yeah. I think that's the thing, right? We had so many complaints about Quest Rogue within the first, like, week of Angoro. And then, so I think they kind of took those complaints, looked at it, said, okay, do we actually have to do something? And then yeah. they have to figure out what they're going to do. And then they have to test what they're going to do. So I think that this is probably the fastest we're ever going to see a change. And I'd probably be upset if it went any faster. Because I, I don't want them, I don't want to see, like, knee-jerk reactions to things. Yeah, because you know? Quest Rogue wound up getting countered fairly fast. Like, if it became something that was, it was the fun, it was really the point of Hearthstone for that time was to figure out exactly how to counter this thing that's all over the place. And people did. And it was a rad time. Yeah, and we still ended up with a lot of archetypes that could go toe-to-toe -to -toe with it. It wasn't like yeah. there was one one darn deck you had and to I play. And I guess that's the biggest thing, is that if, if there's one super OP deck that then only spawns another OP deck that can take it out, then you're really not winning. You yeah. Know? Uh, but I, I, I don't know. I mean, I... I, I there's two things that, that really interest me about that. Number one, I would love to just see <laughs> internally, like, what is, what is that waiting period? You know, like, is, is there a, a specific, like, we're going to put this out there and we're going to gather the data and they, we, we did all this testing beforehand for a reason. We can see, like, what is, you know, what, what it's good against, what it's bad against. And two, you know, when did Ben Brode take over as, as lead designer for, or their head of Hearthstone? Uh, I, uh, it was quite a while ago. Yeah. I think in terms of formally, I think yeah. it was at the beginning of this year. But I think he was doing it informally for like because it does seem. I mean, and maybe it's like some of the the you know stuff that's right out there the, of of him doing more videos and just you know talking more and and communicating more with the with the community. But it does kind of feel like I, I do like sense and and I'm sure you could look at the numbers and see exactly what the quickest nerfs were. But it seems like there's just more of a responsiveness from Team I, I think so. But at the same time, to me, it doesn't really feel like it was reactive. It feels no. like the, the problem had been handled. And whilst obviously some people were still annoyed, they had the, the numbers to say it wasn't really a thing. Um, but again, they know more than we do. So yeah. they know what's coming. They also know internally you know, what numbers are doing, all sort of stuff. Um, but I, I think it's, it's frustrating because the game is purely digital. And there is no reason for it to be slow. There's no reason. The reason we don't have a PTR is because they don't want to ruin the surprise of the cards. And, yeah. you know, that, that anticipation, the announcement, oh, we're going to drip feed out some more cards so you can say this card's good. Well, actually, in context, it's terrible. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know, um, and there's really bad ones. The best card in the world. Um, and that's really the problem. They can only test 
you know, say they play, you know, 100 people playing 100 hours. Yeah. You know, that's, what was it, 10,000, 100, whatever. Um, <laughs> whereas, you know, as soon as 70 million players play at once, you've, you've instantly had more time playing that than they have. Oh, sure. Yeah, and so you've just got the hive mind just yeah. can churn out these things so much quicker. But don't you think, like, a, a PTR that was strictly post-release would at least be a sane middle ground? I think if... Because the cards are already out. If, if for example, the, the problem there is it would be them almost kind of conceding the point early in terms of saying, like, okay, we hear you, we've adjusted it, what do you think now? Yeah, but every, say, why are you still... Why is it not fixed on live? You said there's a problem. Why are we still doing this if, thing over here? Why, why does that work for every other Blizzard game? <laughs> um, I think because it's... There's, there's not as much... Uh, time, I guess, in, in Hearthstone. It's, we've got, what, three, four-month cycles? Mm -hmm. And it kind of feels like if you're not going to fix it soon, mm -hmm. why bother fixing it at all? You know, I think that, you know, they always say the game kind of balances itself. Players find a way. Or Matt might be Jurassic <laughs> Park, actually. But, yeah, I, I believe um, that was uh, Dr. Yeah. Ian Malcolm. That was yeah, it, exactly. Well, yeah. Yeah. And uh, after careful consideration, uh, I've decided not to endorse it. You, you, you two um, dig up, dig up but, dinosaurs? Yeah, but the thing is, is um, I think, like I said, I would much rather that they had put a card or something in the next expansion to fix it rather than nerf it now, personally. I don't know what that would be or, you know, or nerf it in line with that. I don't know. It just, to me, it, feels, it still feels sluggish. And like you said, it's probably as fast as we're going to get. Yeah. Um, but if you compare it to other games out there that have to be a little bit more, you know, they have to be different because why play them other than Hearthstone? And one of the things you know, some of these games pride themselves on is they're super reactive. You know, the community flags an issue, they see it, and even if they disagree with it, you know, there'll be something out there quite quickly you know, answering that question. So yeah, I don't know. But maybe more broad you know, laughing and saying, here's the numbers. You know, you're, you're angry, I hear you, but here's the numbers. You know, it's 30% win rate, uh, it, but 80% of people play it all the time. They really shouldn't play that deck, but that's their call. If they're having fun, I'm not going to step on that. Yeah, I do, I, I do like just invoking stats more often. Yeah, I think they answer a lot of problems and a lot of questions, at least. But, yeah. I, I'm a sucker for uh, codifying things. I, I really think that he should have, like, a Ben Brodes day that happens, like, four times a year or something. And it's, like, at a certain time, at or around a certain time, and it's just... Like he comes out to the balcony like the Pope or something and just like makes his pronouncements. I see white smoke at the chimney. Exactly, yeah. yeah. Like it's Broad's Day. It's Broad's Day. He has reached a nerf agreement. Yeah. <laughs> but it's like just to answer kind of like almost like a State of the Union kind of thing. Just answer like all the grievances. Mm. Like here's what this is. Here's what this is. We hear you on here. Here's why we're not doing anything. Here's what we, why we are doing something like coming forward. And we're going to do this. This is going to change. Don't worry, it'll make sense with the next expansion. Like I, I, I like I like that idea. And he is being more out there, which is good. I just would like it to be a holiday so we can make t-shirts. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, they have been doing a lot more um, communicating, but they've been doing it through these Q&As. And, I mean, they just had one mm -hmm. last week. And some of the questions, I'm just like, either it's about Angoro, it's already done, no one really cares anymore, or it's stuff you've answered before, or, you know, like I was, because I was reading through it to, bef to prep for the show before now, and I was like... Scrolling through, scrolling through the transcript, I'm yeah. like, there's really not much, other than the Quest Rogue nerf, we don't really have to talk about anything, because nothing of substance was really said. So I, I would almost like that better if he just, you know, yeah. came out, Here's had a degree. stats, Here's what we're looking at. You know, that would, I think, be better than, um, I, I don't know, trying to pull the community for questions or something because the ones that they picked just didn't really seem that impactful. Well, and it's like, like he knows what the issues are. He reads the subreddit. Like, well, you know. In it, what I was going to say in his defense is I think him and uh, Ixar and a few of the other, like, they, yes, the Q&As have been kind of non-information. Um, because they're kind of stilted, but I do think Broad and XR and a few other members of Team Five, like the biggest information that we have co gotten from them, have been from these surprise comments on Reddit. Like, oh yeah, that's where XR was dropping stats like a while yeah. back. Before I think it was before the Angoro uh, release, and and that's where. And then I'm just keep doing that. I'm totally fine with that. I and I and again in their defense, I think part of the reason the Q and A like kind of had non issues. I mean, I think overall there wasn't. One big thing I think everyone was complaining about. I think we hear a lot about the Quest Rogue. I think that might just be our circle. But you go on on Reddit. I mean, it 
on Goro, it's been pretty even keel. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's been surprisingly few uh, complaints uh, aside from Quest Rogue, which everybody yeah. was just you know it was it was you know just a, a, a death and destruction. <laughs> but since then, when everybody countered it, it was like well, okay, no, everybody's just. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. chilling. And that's why, like, like, I disagree. Well, so, then, so if everyone's just chilling and there's no big complaints, like that's where I want to hear them talk a little bit more about like their design space and their stats and what. Yeah, going do a touchdown dance. Yeah, tell, tell us why this works. Exactly. Like, yeah. to, uh, you know, I guess that that might also box them in though, because I can I can very much sympathize with them that there's only so much information that they want out there because they know this is a very passionate fan base and they are going to hammer on literally anything that's said whenever there's any other problem. And there will just be a 4,000 word Reddit post about why Bud <laughs> Bud really doesn't care about us anymore. And it'll use quotes from <laughs> things they've said and uh, it'll be garbage. But, but they're going to do that regardless. <laughs> fair point. Bring us the stats, Ben. <laughs> I mean, really, at the end of the day, if, if, you're, if your goal is to end all angry comments, that I mean, you'll never hit that. There are no amount, there's no waterfall level of facts that you could put out there that still will not end in somebody complaining on Reddit. A 4,000 word post <laughs> with 70,000 numbers. Yeah. Uh, yeah, no, I, 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 I don't know. I think it's in a good place, though. Uh, yeah. do, do, we, uh, do we have any guesses on what this, uh, what this announcement is? Well, Return of the Lich King was copyrighted, and they also bought up the domain, and the last time that happened, it was leaked. It was Wizards of the Old Gods. It, Return of the Lich King sure as hell ain't going to be the next World of Warcraft expansion. Exactly. Right. Yeah. And yeah. all of the... Uh, all the art on the tees is all Frostmorn runes. Gotcha. Um, which is less so subtle. Really. Yeah. <laughs> it's all blue and ice and stuff like that. Also, Obviously, because it's not an expansion. Uh, sorry, it's not an event. Uh, you know, yeah. An, an, an adventure. Adventure. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Adventures are Now gone. it's a full-blown expansion. It's, it'd be interesting to see what story they put into it. So we saw with Mean Streets, there was quite a bit of story in terms of we've got these different factions. This is the yeah. new Gadget Zan. Um, on Goro... I didn't feel there was as much in terms of it. It's just like we're kind of you're in Ongoro. It's what it yeah. is. <laughs> yeah. but hey, look, I've been interested to see because obviously in in Wow, you know, Bolvar's the Lich King, and he's a bit kind of he's sidelined. He, well, no, he he he's uh, he's quite um, brutal now. I think he's lost a lot of his humanity, and so he seems quite like well, if we've got to kill everyone to do it, then we'll do that. Um, at least we'll stop the Legion. Um, he's sort of kind of a bit like Illidan in some of his sort of um, kind of uh, convictions and stuff, yeah. So I don't know, for example, are we, though, because it's Hearthstone, are we going to get Arthas back? And it's like, hey, I'm back, woohoo! It's me, Hearthstone, jokey. <laughs> yeah. Or if it's going to be like Bova, like, oh, I burn with rage, you know, the dragons doomed me, now I will doom you. So I don't know, you know, I, I, what, I, I, it's I just be. feel like Arthas has to come to Hearthstone. You, why wouldn't it be amazing? Exactly. Yeah, it's, like he, I, but how do we not have is him in he, there yet? You know, could we have super legendaries? Could we have like a new thing or something? Like I love like hyper evolution. Yeah, from well, Pokemon? Yeah, exactly. Like, yeah, I kind of yeah. Like, is there the a thing evolutions? where like you know you play Arthas and then you play Frostmourne and then he becomes like the Lich King and summons ghouls every time. And that's how we get like, kind of our like yeah. backdoor exactly. extra class. It's, exactly. I just kind of feel like you could do some really cool stuff. Um, but I, you know, it'd be interesting to see where they go with it. I mean, every time they introduce something new, and that's incredible to do, like what, three times a year now. Um, yeah. You know, it's going to be nuts. And we're meant to still get adventures, aren't we? Well, we're getting single-player content yeah. alongside the expansion that goes in with this whatever the story is. Yeah, okay. So imagine if there were single-player uh, experiences for uh, Gadget Zan. Yeah, it'd be cool. Yeah. I can I'm, see I'm down with it. I'd, yeah. I'd buy it. Like, you know, well, they, they did it for free, really? They're free. Yeah, yeah. They just, they're, apparently, they're, my money. <laughs> I don't know what the, I don't know but if I mean, they're going to stagger them. With, with like Gadget Zan, we got the little kind of um, animated quests yeah, when you first initially, started, you know, yeah. Like, oh, join the cabal. We're really cool. Here's some yeah. packs. You know, if it's You're going to get like hooked that, on red like, mana, man. Exactly. You want some red mana? Is it going to be more than that, though? Yeah, it's going to be more fleshed out. Yeah, yeah it's, it's, it, it, like it's, adventures. it's like an adventure. Okay. Yeah. So basically, yeah, how they've sold it, it sounds like we're going to be doing single player like boss fights like we were doing. Mm -hmm. That's red. In cool. Karazhan and Next Next etc. But no et card rewards, nothing. It's just. Well, have so they we come did... out and straight up said that? Or I imagine it'd be. But they might do. But then again, they gave us Cthulhu with old yeah. gods. Yeah. It might be that like they I gave see us them... Arthas because oh, you need Arthas for it to work. You know, so yeah. maybe they'll do stuff like that as well. Yeah, I wonder, uh, would this be? Because it seems like everybody's talking about this. Like it's going to be fairly straight lore where they have not done anything without a very heavy 
dose of, of the Hearthstone mm. kind of humor and fun. But the last one, uh, it was first of the old gods. Yeah, old gods. As so well. old but gods. Even then, old gods was it was darker, mm-hmm. but you know it had you know funny stuff going on in it. You know, it had quirky creatures, and oh, yeah. it's like, what happens if we corrupt a loot hoarder? <laughs> oh yeah, we got the polluted hoarder. Oh well, yeah, but you Do think you get of, it's still got loot in there. Think of every 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 WoW expansion yeah. still has silly things within it too. Regardless yeah, exactly. Of how dark the expansion yeah, but is. exactly. It'd be it'd be interesting to see. How they lift and make it fun, yeah. funny. Well, like, because yeah. what I'm thinking of is like in old gods. Yes, there were there were silly cards, but the old gods themselves were still held. They were still handled very much at the way yeah, they are yeah. in Warcraft, and that's what I think they would do if they actually brought the Lich King. And I think the yeah. Lich King in, himself would. It, was, it wasn't like Cthulhu farted every time. Right, exactly. <laughs> yeah, right, exactly. Or Frostmourne hungers yeah. for burgers. <laughs> <laughs> just not, you know, I got a deck made of 15 burgers. I just play those. Or well, be like, I buff my Frostmourne one shot. Uh, be like a Moose burger, and they'd get it yeah. from uh, Grizzly Hills. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> really good. I don't speak too loud. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, I, I guess I, I, I'm, I'm for another something that's just a little bit more serious because I think that they are, they're, they're, they're so good when they do wacky that I think it makes it better if every once in a while there's something that's a little bit more yeah. straight ahead action. Backing it up a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, because it doesn't have to be super gothic, right? No. Like, it just just make it like we're on an adventure. There's an evil guy. Let's get him. Yeah. <laughs> it's just Sarafan crying about his son for mm. for for the whole thing. <laughs> my son, <laughs> you killed my son. So and that's, oh, yeah. I get to puff yeah. him with, with and four, then he farts. Four tears. <laughs> yeah, and, yeah, 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 yeah. He really starts bawling. <laughs> Play five cards to bury Sarafan's son. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> One of them is his tears. Yeah. <laughs> I kidding. got it. Yeah. The tears of Sarafan. <laughs> That'd be good. Yeah. Play, anyway, like, so we'll see. I'm excited because it's soon. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's yeah, always nice. Well, I, we're gonna know. I get frustrated by their yeah. by their drip feeding. I just yeah. hate it. Um, just purely because it was better last time. I think. It w- I would just much rather they just said, "Boom, here's the cards, and it's out next week." You know, I don't need to know in advance. Like you tell me on the sixth, then release it. You know, a week later, two weeks later, whatever you need to build pre-orders or whatever. But tell me all the cards. Do you think part of it is to see? Because like like you said. There, there is no substitution to putting it out there in the wild, right? And, and obviously no one's playing these as they're drip-feeding the cards, but they are getting a ton of unsolicited feedback. But like, it's, is, it's, in, it's not informed. It's like, yeah. you know, because they, they all look at that feedback and have to go through it and be like, well, yeah, I, I, yeah but, you know, but they yeah, don't know this yeah. thing. Yeah. I think a big part of the drip-feed is it's just a way to work with content creators. No, not exactly. us, because we've never gotten no, no. a card. But, but. Oh, come <laughs> on. Me neither. I've, and I've always said, just give me the worst card, like a <laughs> vanilla, like no stats, you know, no no text, just like, like you know, when Carrying Grub, I was like, why didn't, why couldn't we have had Carrying Grub? You didn't know one got it. I would have had Carrying Grub. Yeah, there's almost like and 40 cards great. at the end. That exactly. Just, yeah. They're just like, and these were, what? I don't give a crap. These, I felt awkward. I felt embarrassed offering this to someone, so we're just going to release this yeah. one. In, a, you know. in, in their defense, though, uh, when Young Wu teased uh, Elise, Elise yeah. that was Elise, the Elise, most yeah. YouTube views we have ever gotten, just period. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, because he couldn't show the cards, so if people wanted to hear about it, they had to watch the damn video. Oh. <laughs> so he just teased the legendary stuff. So. so why don't you, yeah, just, just work that out. Just, oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, young. just come on and just <laughs> come I on. talk around a card. I, I don't believe that that was, I don't think that was like the, the PR going, make sure you do tease at least. I think Young was just doing us a solid. Yeah. So thank yeah. you, Young, if you're <laughs> listening. I think you guys can make it into a game. Like, like yeah, they just do it like they do at the Frog Pants trivia. You know, like, <laughs> like you can't say the following. Have PR give you the words you can't say. I'm a kid. And then tell us about the car. Um, uh, overpowered. Um, <laughs> must include yeah, in uh, all decks. And Doctor uh, Five. <laughs> legendary. Sixteen thousand dust. Because it's not even gonna be in packs. You gotta, yeah. you gotta craft it. Yeah. Dude, I'll tell you what. That's it. That's the idea. Come on, Young. Brilliant. Do it for the people. I like it. I like it a lot. Yeah. No, I'm ready. I bet, and actually, because if they're they're announcing it. It can't be that long until it actually comes out, right? It's usually not I mean, that long. Away. Exactly, end, end of the month, sort of end of July, beginning of August, sort of thing. Gamescom's coming up uh, end of August. Mm. So uh, last time, I think we were already a week or two into Karazan. Um, so the kind of cadence I'd expect it to be early August uh, to make sense. Be good time. And that it gives everybody enough time before the the big stuff at BlizzCon, right? Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, last so last year we were actually at CreateCon, so it was yeah the, we were when the Karazhan cards were yeah, or when like Karazhan oh, announced, crap, when it was announced right? yeah, we actually so yeah, we got to talk about July, yeah. yeah yeah we got to talk about the and then it Karazhan. came out a couple of weeks after that but that was that was an adventure too so it didn't have like the big huge long drip feed of cards yeah that's 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 true although the drip feed this time was what two weeks. I think it was a lot quicker. It was much much quicker than it has been in the past. So 
maybe early August? Yeah, because as much as we lament the drip feed, that made doing the show so much harder because there's so <laughs> many more cards to cover. Well, that is true, but I mean, I'm I'm of the kind of, I'm in the camp where I just, I wish that they, they even almost didn't announce the cards because until you get every single card announced, you can't even really theory craft, so you're losing, what, maybe a week? Like, just let me open my packs and go, what is okay. this? Just the player <laughs> wants all the cards at once. I do want the host of a weekly well, show yes, about exactly, Hearthstone, yeah. which is that they were released half a card every week. <laughs> just the top of the card. <laughs> Six mana. Oh, we haven't yeah. seen many oh, of those. Yeah. Wow. Six yeah, well, mana and this looks like... What do you mean, though? We don't know what class is for, but maybe yeah. if it's for, like, how let's that's, get into the analysis. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it looks like a murloc. Six mana for a murloc. It's going to be a pretty big murloc. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, you got a thing with the commander on there as well. Stretch I don't know. Stretch it yeah. out. In fact, I think we should be in a world of infinite drip. <laughs> yeah. As soon as the, 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 the new one is announced, <laughs> start drip feeding the, the, the next expansion. <laughs> And then the next week, it's the bottom half, but not from the same card. No, oh, yeah. Yeah, there you, yeah, no, you, have, you have to great. mix them up. Yeah. You got everybody who just spends no time talking Amazing. to other people. Ten time life, of charge, like, oh my God. Charging yeah. it out. Oh, man, that'd be Can't great. Can't attack heroes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, you think yeah, it's like what, the yeah. best. And it's that's, like, what they, that's what they then release the next week. Like, it's just oh. the additional card text saying, like, no. Oh, they redact. It's just yeah. blacked out. Like yeah. no, 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 no. It just fades in and out. Like the end of Back to the Future. Like yeah, yeah. you know, and you have to find out where it lands by the end of it. Yeah. Doc, Doc, the cards. <laughs> the oh, I can't attack the hero, Doc. <laughs> Marie, just, just point her. Just come on, kill the torn. Somebody stop Uther from almost sleeping with his yeah. mother. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> to it. Oh, 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 oh. That's my mom. <laughs> Well played. <laughs> <laughs> does, that, that does, does that make him worse than Gul'dan? That's what I want to know. Uh, no, nah, no, nah, Gul'dan, like I said, Gul'dan, uh, Gul'dan just felt like he was, you know, like someone's friend who just wanted to do it for the day. Oh, yeah. Like he had next to no lines, probably because of how bad he looked. And <laughs> again, like the oh, we're, back, just, we're back to Mulligans now. Oh, yes, oh, we're back to yeah, Mulligans. We're always Mulligans. It all comes back to... We're never more than five seconds away from uh, Mulligans. Yeah, yeah, I think the, the show. Uh, yeah, bro. Yeah. It's grumpy here. Oh, would you like a potion? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that's my line. So, uh, <laughs> see you guys next Mulligan. <laughs> And I, I think now that we've come full circle, that's a good place to uh, just, just cap this, this fun little impromptu episode. So, uh, Absolutely. Hey, Terpster, thanks for sitting in on this. Thank you very much for having me. Thank you. J uh, Justin, yeah, you as well? Yeah, no, I'm not on the show. So <laughs> Justin, <laughs> Justin you've, got a, you've got a Kickstarter. You'd uh, probably it's like called it. Action News. It's a new card game. Uh, if you like The Contender, my last card game, you'll like this one. Just go ahead and take a look at Action newsgame.com uh, kickstarting now and thank you to everybody who has already supported it Red. well uh, uh, Joss and I have a kickstarter going as well it has already funded but we are moving towards the stretch goal so if you want to force Jocelyn to watch the original Indiana Jones trilogy which she has not seen Wait, and what? then do a, do a <laughs> seen all of movies, but no <laughs> Indiana Jones yeah so True story, like, bro. True yeah. story. Yeah, so if, if you would like, if that sounds like an interesting podcast, you should go to bit.ly slash embrace the spoilers right now and uh, get those uh, those stretch goals. Yeah. Hell yeah. No, check that out. It's yeah. an awesome show. Uh, Terps, is there anything you wanted to promote? No. No? Cool. <laughs> Gentlemen. Gentlemen. All right. Well, uh, Dills is not here. So if you've never been to a live one where Dills is not here, we're going to do a normal sign off, but the audience has to yell yes. So, Get ready for that. There'll be a countdown from three. <laughs> and now that I've set it up and it's not special, <laughs> around the, let's get a job's done from Terpster. Oh. Job's done. Job's done. Job's done. Job's done. Three, two, one. Yes! <laughs> well done, everyone. Thank you. Boom. <laughs>